the fertile plains alongside the Yellow River cradled ancient Chinese civilization. But the Yellow River's floods have killed millions of people, earning the river the nickname China's Sorrow. Small particles in the water, called sediment, can clog the river, forcing the water to spill out onto land. It's one of the most sediment-laden rivers in the world. Previous models couldn't account for how much sediment the Yellow River carries. A new model more accurately describes sediment transport in the river, which could help scientists predict and prevent floods. Researchers used a 3D scanner to peer through the muddy water and map the river's bottom. When they turned on the scanner, what they saw was so unexpected, they thought the equipment was broken. The bottom of the Yellow River was flat. The bottoms of most rivers, like the Mississippi, have underwater dunes that rob energy from the water, limiting how much force is available to push sediment downstream. On a flat riverbed, more of the river's energy can sweep particles along. Additional tests show the Yellow River has much finer sediment than other rivers. The particles can stay suspended in the water rather than sinking. These factors let the river dump more than a billion tons of sediment into the sea each year, though another 600 million tons are deposited along the way. The team's new model explains how the Yellow River can carry so much sediment. They say it could also explain other types of sediment systems, from an eroding coastline to Antarctic glaciers to the Martian plains. And predicting where and when sediment buildup might cause flooding can help scientists protect the 80 million people living alongside the Yellow River's banks. For Scientific American, I'm Lydia Chain.